Hi, I'm Nadine Peart from Healthy You, Healthy Love, and today I have a topic that's actually quite serious that really encapsulates why I'm so passionate about encouraging healthy love in the way of healthy dating. In fact, this topic needs to be heard by both men and women because there is a big issue simmering away in the dating world that I believe needs to be amended and fast, which means if this video and what I'm about to share resonates with you, please share it with a friend as both men and women need help to find love and this is the solution and you'll understand what I mean in a moment. You see, recently I was chatting to a male colleague and he said that there was a popular male dating coach teaching men how to make women keen and interested in them. Now this is not the problem, it's great to have a dating coach, what he teaches them is rather upsetting because not only does this not help men to get the girl, it sees women feeling confused because he teaches men to act in a way that sees women feeling wanted one minute and then unwanted the next. It doesn't encourage emotional safety, it encourages distrust. Sure, the PUA or the pickup artist industry still lives and breathes, though this man is not one of those types of dating coaches. He's supposed to be into self-help and building mindful relationships. So imagine you're dating a guy who seems to really like you, your dates have been pretty fabulous, he's a gentleman, kind and funny, but you also feel something is amiss. As attentive as he is on a date, after each date he's somewhat hot and gold. He seems to be encouraging and interested in one day and then he's indifferent the next. He rarely sends you a text message, he doesn't call, sure he may respond to your messages though he's not really making an effort. But then you catch up again and the date goes really well but after the date he's distant again and you're wondering what the heck is going on. Sure, it could be a case of he's just not that into you, but you know that he really likes you, you can tell. So what's up, what's the issue? Well unfortunately, this could be it. That coach I mentioned earlier is teaching men to only contact women 30% of the time. He believes that women want to lead 70% of the time and that a woman likes it when a man is or acts less interested than she is. He believes that women only like men who don't seem that interested in her. Are you kidding me? I'm in my 40s, I have coached hundreds of men and women and this is not what women want and not what I would advise a man to do ever. Why? Women who've done some work on themselves, women who know their value, women who've dated a number of men who didn't treat them so well will not be more interested or find a man more desirable who doesn't contact them all that much. Sure, they might find this behavior a little intriguing at first because it's confusing, but they will tire of it fast and lose respect for the man. Because if they're on dates and he seems super keen and interested, he says all of the right things, but then when they're apart, he doesn't make any real effort to stay connected or to lead the interaction with the woman, then what is she to think and feel, other than confused and even let down? This 30% rule disrupts flow and momentum, which is what is required to develop something between two people. Now this coach has around 400,000 subscribers, and I believe teaching this kind of game to men is unacceptable. A woman who's dating a man who's following this kind of advice should expect that they won't hear from the man all that much and that she will need to contact him most of the time. And when he doesn't respond, then she should expect to keep contacting him until he does decide that it's time to make that 30% effort reply. What has this world come to? Hearing this really stirs up a variety of emotions for me. I mean, why would a healthy minded woman want this? Sure, some people do respond to scarcity. They want what they think they can't have, but it won't work on women looking for true partnership and healthy love. It's a turn off. And here's the real clincher. This situation is made even worse as most coaches for women are teaching women to lean back and wait for the man to lead. And this is where the problem gets bigger. It would seem that we've got both men and women being taught to play hard to get, and what kind of result does this bring? nothing. No one gets the guy or the girl because no one is taking any risk. Instead of building a loving relationship, women and men feel more and more rejected and jaded about dating. It's the worst advice for both men and women. So what's the solution? Start listening to yourself. Men, if you want to call the lady you like, just do it. If you want to send her a morning hello text message, 
just do it. And if you want to see her again, plan it. Now women, if you like a man, encourage him. Sure, don't chase him like a desperado, though don't lean back too much. In this modern digital dating world, men and women need encouragement now more than ever. So from now on, go with your heart. Start being more authentic with who you desire. I'm a coach who's done enough dating to know what it's really like out there in the dating trenches and I can assure you it's time people start to be more authentic and to start wearing their heart on their sleeve a little more and simply go for what they want. Relationships take time to build because it takes time to know if someone is legitimately compatible with you. That's normal, but you can't get to this stage unless you encourage a relationship in the first place. So stop the stupid games and bring back some play, fun, and romance into dating. As I said, men need to make more of an effort to let a woman know that there is some real interest and women need to let men know that they like them. Of course, when you encourage a man, you don't know if he's right for you long-term or not, though encouragement is needed and required to work that out. Now, the truth is, all relationships start in a different way. Some start fast, some start slow, and I can assure you most of them didn't start with the man playing the 30% rule. So that's my rant for today on this quite serious topic. Both men and women need to be very careful what kind of advice they're listening to and implementing, even mine. We all need to discern what feels accurate and what doesn't. Dating is supposed to be exciting, intriguing, mysterious, sexy, energizing, not hot and cold, come on. Sure, moderation in the early stages is advisable, not a head f If you're still feeling a little confused and would like some extra support, then my free gift, five easy ways to get a man to commit will help you to navigate these kinds of games, so check it out. And if you want to up the ante even a little more, then you can check out my program, Unlock His Heart. I have a number of modules in this program that will help you to know how to navigate the early stages of dating so that you can encourage a man, not scare him away, and you'll know exactly what to do when you do feel he's pulling away. The link to both my gift and my Unlock His program are right below in the description. So that's pretty much it for this video. Now that you know that this could be the reason why the guy you like is not making the kind of effort you had hoped for, I suggest you keep encouraging him. And if he doesn't take the lead anytime soon, then perhaps it's time to let him go and move on and see what happens. If you've been dating for a while, then an open conversation most likely needs to be had. Either way, know that you deserve to be with a man who makes some consistent effort to get to know you. Now, before you go, if you haven't yet, please subscribe, click that bell button, please share your comments below about this somewhat controversial topic, and give this video the thumbs up. And please share it with a friend who needs some help with navigating the early stages of dating like a queen. It's been an honor to have you here with me. I encourage you to mindfully hone the art of self-love and self-honor on your path to big intimate love. See you again at my next video.